Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Market Pantry mini cheeseburgers. It's Frank Flame Broiled Beef Patty with cheese on a bun. They look pretty good. We bought these, like I said, at Target. The Market Pantry is a Target brand. Um, they're $3.13 for um, six burgers. and So it's three servings of two. So that's not bad. Um, 330 calories for two of the little mini burgers. And there's the other information for you. So these are microwave only, the best I can tell. So it says open package a small amount on each end to vent. Uh, place on microwave safe plate. Microwave on high for one to one and a half minutes until heated through. Let stand for one minute before opening. Be careful because it'll be hot. And it says to prepare one, you can wrap it in a paper towel. Um, you can put barbecue sauce, ranch dressing, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So for two of them, one package, it's a minute to a minute and a half. I'll probably go in between the 115 because I don't want to, I don't want to overcook because you don't want the bun to get hard. No pull tab, just like you know. Right, here's what they look like. Pretty decent size. Um, a little bit bigger than a, than a um, White Castles. So, so I'm going to vent each end a little bit and get the microwave on back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave, and um, I just opened the package for you, so there's what they look like. The cheese kind of melted everywhere, but it, but it's actually cheese. It didn't turn to complete liquid, at least. So I'm gonna let these cool off for just a few, and then I'll be back. Okay, I gave them a little time to cool off. I don't say the half of the bun is kind of hard, not hard, but just really firm, and the other side's softer. So I'm gonna try the firm side just to see what it's like. Um, it's, not, it's not hard like in crunchy, like hard, but it is firm. Good smoky flavor um, from the, the like a charcoal flavor. The bread's not too bad. Um, it's a little chewier on the tough side, but but it's not bad. No, not bad at all. As we do decides to leave. Um, that's good. Like I said, the the bread, the tougher side of the bread is just a little chewier, a little denser. Um, but it's still soft enough to eat. I mean, it's not bad. I've had some sandwiches that were so hard you couldn't eat them. Um, I ended up going a minute and 10 seconds with this. I probably could have even gone down to one five, maybe even a minute. I don't know. I would try, I would try it at one five and see what it's like. Um, but it's fine the way it is. Now, if I had to complain, which is really not a huge complaint, but the bread is a little tough and chewy. It might be better if I went to a minute five, it might have uh, not been as chewy and tough, but as it is with the 110, it's a little tough. The, um, the taste of the burger itself, it's got a good smoke flavor. You can really taste the hamburger part. The cheese, honestly, I don't know that I would miss the cheese if it wasn't there. Um, You know, that cheese really just doesn't have a lot of flavor. So if you want to save a few calories, you could probably take the cheese off and just heat it up and be fine. Um, matter of fact, that's probably what I would do with the rest of them. Um, because the cheese, you don't really taste it enough so you can see how tough the bread is. Um, you don't really taste the cheese enough to really waste your calories on it. So that would save you a little bit of calories if you wanted to. Or leave the cheese on and live with it. So these are good. I'm going to give them... I wish the bread was a little softer, but I'm going to give them a four. Definitely worth trying out. You dip them in, you put some ketchup and mustard on there, so some kind of um, a spicy sauce, and it would be really good. So, um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.